So bioenergetics is really important for athletes to understand. Okay, if you guys can understand these concepts, it's going to help you with your training and help you understand how to train better for your sport. All right. So you've got three energy systems that work simultaneously within your body. All right. Creatine, phosphogen, glycolic, and aerobic. All right. Glycolic is, is also it runs off sugar. Okay. So these two are anaerobic. And obviously aerobic is aerobic, all right? Aerobic's using oxygen to replenish. All right, so we'll talk about baseball first and then we can get into some basketball stuff. All right, so at full exertion, all right, that, that's the key to this is full exertion. Your creatine phosphogen, all right, we're just gonna call it CP, runs out at around nine seconds, okay? Now you can take creatine supplements and you can, you can up that a little bit, all right? But roughly nine seconds is at full exertion is about what you get out of that. When you run out of that, the glycolic system takes over as the primary source, right? And that runs out at about 90 seconds of full exertion. And then you go into aerobic, all right? Aerobic doesn't run out. If aerobic runs out, you're gonna die, okay? While glycolic is taking over and aerobic is taking over, and I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, the CP can, can start to replenish, all right? It takes about three minutes for the CP to replenish if you're in the, if, like, if the aerobic is, is primary, all right? So put it as an example, let's say we have a track, a track outside, all right? Here's your track, here's your, here's your start, all right? If I say, okay, Isaac, I want you to, where is he? All right, if I say, Isaac, I want you to run two laps around the track at 100% effort of whatever you've got, all right? It would be very difficult for him to do that. But hypothetically, let's say he can do that. He's gonna start start here, all right, build up to a full sprint, and in about nine seconds, Isaac, you be right, right about here, nine, nine seconds, all right? He's gonna hit a wall, and he's gonna slow down. All right, that's when he's going from CP to glycolic. So on this chart, that's gonna look like, all right, this is time on the bottom, and we've got speed over here, all right? So at about the nine second mark, his glycolic's gonna take over, and he's gonna be going here for about 90 seconds, all right? Where are you gonna be in about 90, 90 seconds from there? Maybe like back over here-ish? All right, so let's say he's right here at the 90 second mark. He's gonna hit another wall. He's gonna slow down again. This is the point that he's hating life, all right? He's gonna to start to feel like, oh, I might throw up. Like, I can't go any further. There's no way I'm gonna finish it. All right, that's where he's completely depleted of, of, his, of his anaerobic and he's switching over to aerobic. And he's gonna slow down quite a bit, all right? So we're gonna be right here. Your aerobic system is constantly active, even if it's not primary. And then he's gonna be here, all right? And that can go on forever. So as he's basically jogging at this point, around the track, you see right about here, you get like a second wind, all right? You, people refer to it as a second wind. All right, that's when he's got enough of this left over to make that last final sprint on his last lap. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, so then let's take away this arrow. All right, this will go back down and his CP is gonna come back up. That's not fully replenished, so he's not gonna go as fast as he started, but he's still gonna, gonna be able to finish strong. All right, so how does that apply to baseball? All right, over here, we've got your most necessary parts of a, of a game of baseball, all right? A swing, does a swing take more than a second? No, all right, a pitch, no more than two seconds if you have a really slow delivery, all right? Running it out of single, if it takes five seconds between your initial swing and touching the base, that's a really slow sprint. All right, a double, I, and, and these are just like the slow extremes, okay? A double shouldn't take you more than 12 seconds, right? A triple, maybe 15 to 20 seconds, right? And inside the park home run, 25 seconds, all right? So think about if you're watching an MLB game, do you see anybody huffing and puffing after a swing? No. After a pitch, does a pitcher look exhausted after throwing a pitch? No. A single. Somebody sprints out an infield hit. Are they, are they, do they look exhausted? Are they huffing and puffing? No. All right, so these all fit into the CP, but even though they're at full exertion, 
They're not going nine seconds, all right? So the glycolic hasn't had to take over. Now, a double, all right? If it's Acuna, does he look tired after a double? No, he's getting there in probably less than nine seconds, I would assume, all right? If it's, uh, say, not as fast of a player, Daniel Vogelbach. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I don't want any of my best friend friends to see this video and complain. All right. Let, all right. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say, let's say it's Danny. Is is he tired after a double? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What about what about a triple? All right. Hey. Look. What about Acuna? Nope. Runs out a triple. When he gets up, I mean, is is he is he like this at all? Is he a little bit tired? Yeah. A little bit. Not much though. Right. This factors that in. This is all. This is at maximum effort. All right. Inside the park, home run. Is Acuna winded? Yeah. Kind of. All right. Your average player. Are they winded after a triple and an or an inside the parker? Yes. Yeah. All right. What about you guys? Yeah. Probably. Okay. After a single, yeah, guys. Now, the the longest play, the longest play in baseball would be an inside the park home run. Would everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. All right. 25 seconds for an inside the park home run it seems like it's a really slow run, right? Probably, probably. A couple errors happened on that play. Is that anywhere near 90 seconds? No. No. All right. You guys see where I'm going with this? So, out of these three, which is important for baseball? Most important for baseball? CP. CP. Glycolics a little bit, right? But in the in the case of a practice, are you going to want to spend more time training CP or glycolic? CP. What about aerobic? No. 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 All right. We'll, we'll get. There is a benefit to aerobic in baseball, and we'll we'll get to it. But it's not worth spending time and practice on. All right. Now, in practice, ten swings in, in the cage, whether it's off the tee or front toss or whatever. All right. Which are, which of these are you using? CP. Primarily CP, but you might get a little bit into the glycolic. Right. Depends on 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 how hard you're swinging. All right. A 20 pitch bullpen, you're still not getting into, into a rope. All right? Um, in and outs, do you guys do in and outs here? Yeah. yeah. Right? Which one, in and outs, are you, are you getting into a rope at all? Yeah. No. All right? Um, sprints, right? In, if you guys are doing showcases and stuff, you guys have to run a 60, which has absolutely no benefit in baseball whatsoever. So I don't know why scouts like that. And I've asked them, and I've never gotten a legit answer. Um, even running at 60 or, or 120, you're still not getting into the aerobic, right? And then a, dyna a dynamic warm-up or agilities, you're still not getting into aerobic. That's still all CP. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. Now, the dumb shit that people do in baseball, okay? Poles. Which of, which, which of this is poles? Aerobic. Aerobic. Is that helping you with what's important? No. Not at all, okay? 30 swings in a, in a, in a round of BP. No. It's aerobic. Is that helping you with this? No. 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 All right? Overthrowing in a bullpen, right? I mean, at the big league level, most cases, 30 pitch bullpen is about the high end that you're gonna have, all right? So throwing like 40 to 50 pitches in a bullpen, is that helping this? No. no. All right, what about static stretching? You guys know what that is? It's yeah. Right? Yeah. This? Ooh. Right? Is that helping you? No. No. Baseball means explosive, like dynamic stuff, right? Everything has to be fast. So on, on that on that sense, all right, fast twitch type one muscle fibers are CP and glycolic. Your slow twitch type two muscle fibers are aerobic. Which one do you want to build for baseball? CP. CP. C. So when you guys are in your off season and you guys are home for Chris or for, for your holiday break in, in December, are you gonna be going out running a couple miles? Nope. No, because that's not gonna do anything for you for baseball. All right, basketball is a different story. All right, so let me erase this chart that I drew. All right, let's come over here real quick. All right. Common, common myths with baseball, all right? But aerobic conditioning helps my recovery and flushes out lactic acid. No, it doesn't, all right? First of all, your body regulates the pH balance between, through your kidneys at 
7.35 to 7.45. If, if your blood turns acidic, you have a lot more to worry about than your arm, okay? Like, you're gonna be going to the hospital really quickly. Um, you're gonna be sick. Um, so lac lactic acid, it, it's, it's a myth, all right? You don't need to run to flush out lactic acid out of your arm, okay? Your arm is sore after you pitch because the muscle fibers within the arm are torn and they have to rebuild, all right? Just like after you lift in a weight room. Um, and then down here, like, Oh, an aerobic base, it's important for baseball because as I'm gonna explain here, when you're in the aerobic stage and like you're in between pitches or you're in the dugout in between innings, that's when this replenishes, all right? But if you're playing competitive baseball, right, at least at the high school level or higher, you probably already have an aerobic base, okay? So taking time out of your training or out of your practice to build an aerobic base, that, that's a waste of time, all right? So on this chart right here, we've got speed over here, we've got time on the bottom, all right? If, if you're pitching, for example, all right, or hitting, both, both charts are gonna be very similar, right? Your, your CP for an at-bat, let's say you swing it three pitches in a row, all right? Your CP is gonna go here. Aerobics working here. How, how long do you guys have between pitches generally? Five seconds. For high school? More than five seconds. Oh, it's like, oh, 10 to 15 it. seconds, all right. All right, so now we're out here. All right, all right, look. You swing at the next pitch, all right? You're gonna strike out on three swings, by the way. All right, you swing at the next pitch. It's gonna spike up here, come back down. Now you're back aerobic. Let's say the next pitch is a ball. Right, so you're gonna come out here. Next pitch, you swing and miss. Actually, let's say you foul it off. All right, and you're here. So this is your first three swings. You haven't even really depleted this at all in three swings. That's less than three seconds of full exertion with 10 to 15 seconds in between, all right? You're still pretty full on this. Now let's say the next pitch, you hit it. All right, so here's your swing. All right, and then let's pretend now that we can really zoom in. This isn't 90 seconds anymore. All right, let's say we can zoom in, and right here you swing, you have your follow through. There's gonna be a millisecond where you're not really moving, all right? So just for the sake of the chart, right, it's gonna look like something like this, and here you're running out to first base, right? And then you're back down again. There's nowhere that you're even getting close to this. All right, so the majority of your training in the weight room, for example, needs to be explosive movements, right? So your rotational lunge to press. Like, instead of moving slowly with it, explode, drive it hard, okay? Everything in here you should be doing for baseball should be explosive building, all right? Now, there's that eraser. Do you guys at baseball have any questions on that part? No, okay. All right, basketball, you guys are a completely different story. All right, and this would apply to soccer as well, because they were in here. All right, basketball players. Which one of these is most important? Which one? Black Hollow? No. Aerobic? No. CP? CP? No. They're all not equal. All right, because depending on how, on the pace of the game, you might have to sprint down the court sprint back and then get back again. Well, is that gonna take more than, more than 10 seconds? To go down the court three times? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's only gonna take more than 90 seconds, right? But that would be more here, right? But then the ball goes out of bounds or there's a, or there's a foul or something and then you're here and you're recovering and replenishing both of these, all right? Now, with a slow pace game, your aerobics are gonna be more important because you're just jogging back and forth. All right, does that make sense? All right, same thing with soccer, right? Soccer might, you might have a sprint down the line or down the field and you, and you deplete that and then you've got to sprint back the other way and now you're in this. So you're not gonna go as fast because this isn't quite as powerful, right? But then you might have a couple of minutes where you're just jogging or walking and you're in the aerobic. Question, yeah? Are we finishing on the 30 
if you're pitching a 30 pitch inning, I don't think that inning is going very well. And yeah, I, I pitch like five. Okay. All right. Well, if you're pitching a 30 pitch inning, you're still you're still probably not touching this, right? Now, if I had a catapult on you, for example, or something to track like your exertion, you're, you're, it's gonna look something like this, right? Here's a pitch, how long do you have between pitches? We said, 10 seconds. Ten, let's say 10 seconds, all right? So, it's still, this is one second, here's 10 seconds, here's one second, here's 10 seconds, right? So you're still not really fully depleting this very quickly. Maybe around like that 20 to 22 pitch range, you might start getting glycolic. Like did you, like when, when you're in that kind of inning, do you start feeling tired at a certain point? Yeah. Muscle fatigue or like actual tired? Like are you, are you, are you breathing heavy? Uh, no, more muscle fatigue, like my heart is on the side. Yeah, so I mean, at that point you're, you're gonna be here, but you're still not getting into aerobic. Yeah. Right, and the aerobic is important because when you're in between pitches, the aerobic is what's working, and that's when you're able to regenerate some of this. But at the same time, you're in pretty good shape aerobically, right? Could you go out and run a couple miles if I asked you to? Probably. Right, so that's not something that I would say, hey, if you've got three hours today to work on baseball, let's, let's not do this. Let's, let's do something that is actually more valuable, right? Or let's say, let's say, you, Hypothetically, you're coaching your little brother's travel team for a practice for the day. Yeah. And you've got a two hour allotment to, to practice, right? A lot of coaches are gonna say, oh, at the end of practice, we're gonna take the last 20 minutes or 15 minutes and we're gonna run poles. Well, is there a better way to spend 10, 10 to 20 minutes in baseball practice than running poles? Sure, let's do some of these. Let's work on infield. Let's do some sprints, right? For sprints, you get faster if you're running more than 93% of, of your top speed. Right, so that's why it's important when you guys are doing speed work to go to go all out. Any questions on any of this? Or any more questions on this? No? All right, we can do a nutritional one like this at some point soon too. All right. All right, let's get to work.